hi everyone i am Rudy ibrahim and i welcome you to my youtube channel in this video i'll be taking you through the slab load definitions in brutal structure if you watch this video till the end then what you'll be able to learn is how to apply a point load to a slab how you'll be able to apply a line load to a slab and how you'll be able to apply an area load to a slab all right so um let me just take you through that if you look at the 3d image you are seeing here you will see some line loads over here so if you look at this slab we have an area load. this particular one is an area load you see it covers the whole area which is now showing on the beam so if you look very well you see it is showing on the um on the rc wall which is the shear wall you are seeing on that here so that is an um an area load another example of area load is this one you are seeing but this one is not covering the whole perimeter of the slab you can see it is just sitting just over around there okay so that is also an area load then example of a point load is this one you are seeing here so this one you can see these two they are they are point load also you can have um a line load um for example let me show you this okay so this particular one you are seeing is a line load this one so if you look at it from this side you will see that it is a line load and then the height has been defined that's why you are seeing it as tall as this so how exactly are you going to achieve this that is what i'm going to take you through but before we move on kindly take 10 seconds of your time to subscribe to my youtube channel and then you can click on the bell icon so that you can receive notifications whenever i post a new video subscription is actually free all right you are welcome back um now i have deleted all of those loads now we are going to apply it from scratch so the first kind of load i'm going to apply is an area load let's say you've already modeled your slab but in real life you know when you have a slab you want to add additional dead loads to your slab for example if you have a screeding on your slab or if there will be a tiling on your slab or any kind of you know finishes that will be on your slab there will definitely be an additional load on your slab then this is um, a special way we do that when we want to uh, model let me go to the uh, plan view usually we want to model a slab and then you click on the slab when you go to properties so when you are working with the property and then you go to loads under the dead load here usually have some four additional dead load that are usually here you see the flat roof the room the terrace and the lower slab this additional dead load you are seeing is actually added by myself okay so this will not be there originally it is just this four that will be there by default okay so you can either pick any of these and then you forget about adding any additional load if this values are what you want to work with okay for example let me click on flat roof you will see the value of the dead load the value of the dead load is 1.0 okay if you pick room the value is 2.375 okay if you pick theories if you pick lower slab so the more they come down the lower the value okay so if this is the actual value you want to add to your slab you know you can just pick any of these and then you continue working with that but if these are not the value you want to work with then you can actually create a value your own value personally then you add it to your slab okay so how do you do that now just as i did by applying this additional dead load you can also add that so how are you going to do that let me just um show you now um what you just need to do is you can go to your building set out what you are seeing here is Protal Structure 2018 version, but if you are using 2021, 2019, 2022, the way to do this is not so different, okay? So you just go to uh, Building Set Out, and then you can go to Slab Additional Load Library. Then it's going to load this library for you, okay? So um, the first thing I will do is to create a new load. I will give it a name, okay? So you can see what you have here. You have our three windows. The first one is the load name. This is where you give it um, a load name and then you are going to give the layer of the loads. Okay. And then you are going to have where you can pick your material. So first of all, let's give the load a name. So you click on this add button you have here. So when you click on add, then you can see the new load has been added. Then let me just double click on it so that I can give it a name. Now let me give it, let me say um, screening. Let me just say screeded or let's say screeded slab 
okay so we we'll call it screeded slab then if you want to change the color the color does not really matter actually but if you want to change the color you can just change it to whatever you like here okay so that is um okay now let me select the material that we need now if you click on edit material here now you are going to see all of the possible materials all of the possible loads that can be on a slab okay so you can see this is um a floor screen this is cement grout this is lime you can see this is marble tile you can see a lot of tiling too so if the kind of screening or the kind of tiling that you want to work with is here and then the unit weight is correct you can see you can just go on with that for example marble the, the unit weight of marble is 28 kilonewton per meter cube if that is not right you can actually change it it is editable you can see this is 20 right i will change it to 27 you can see so it is very possible for you to work with that okay so um at the same time you can also create your own by clicking on this um add button so you can click on add button and then you can see enter material name so now let's give it a, a name now let me say plastic or let me say pet pet plastic you understand pet plastic screening so that's when you use plastic to script that's not something that is uh, common but then now i'm going to add the unit weight of that let me say the unit weight is um 25 25 kilonewton per meter cube you can see i've added it here now you just click on ok so that's how you can add a new material a material that is not there automatically you can just add it so that's that then you come to layer just click on this add okay they are going to see this now let's select the material you click on this drop down to select your material and now let's look for that one that I just added which is PET so that's P let me come down so this is a PET plastic screening so when you click on that automatically the unit weight will follow now it's going to ask me for the thickness of that layer you know it is a layer so you have to give it a thickness if you want to apply a screening on the floor or you want to tie you know there will be a particular thickness that it will go so let me say i want to screen this for about 50 mm okay so automatically it will calculate the load value which is 1.25 and when you check down here you will see it applied which is 1.25 now you are done the only thing you just need to do is click on okay then automatically that particular load that i need you know it is a plastic this kind of load will not be there in proto structure by default what you see there is flat roof all this you know and i don't want to over design i don't want to add excess load i don't want to over stress any of the material so i want to add the actual load so that is what i'm trying to achieve now so let me just click on the slab let's say this is the slab that i want to screen. just right click and then you can go to property and then you go to your load now when you click on this drop down you know this is the additional load for your dead load when you click on this drop down now you're going to see that screeded slab that screeded slab that i created so this is the load that i just added so when you just click on it automatically you see the value 1.25 1.25 that's what i did okay so you just click on update and then it's going to update so that is not a big deal and at the same time let's say i want to apply it to all of this material you know i don't need to be clicking on each slab all i just do is right click and then you go to member table you can go to slab table okay so now this is the additional dead load you know this is additional dead load so you can just um click on this column wise so that you can change everything at the same time now you can see let me just click on this drop down and then you're going to click screen slab which is the one i want to use so automatically to change everything to screen slab okay so that's very easy then you close that load has been added to all of this slab so that is how you can define your area load which is a dead load on your slab this is one approach however you still have another approach now let me show you something when you go to the 3d view and then you check my slab what do you see there is no difference nobody will know um you know it will not be shown just as you were seeing it earlier you see it will not be shown so if you wish to have it like this it is very good okay however you can still do it in a different way you still have you know another way to achieve what i just did now so how are you going to do that let me just go to um the plan view you know i will enjoy using the plan view so now this is what i want to do what i just did right now i want to do it again with a different method you know what i added now is an area load okay so i want to add another area load so to do that just click on this this is the slab load when you click on that yeah this is point load this is line load and this is area load now you click on area load okay 
now you have two load cases you can see the first load case that is here is what dead load now what i want to add is dead load i do not want to add additional live load okay but let's say you want to add dead load you also want to have live load live load that's not a problem now you can see the dead load all i just need to do is insert the value here you can see the value 1.25 you know that's the value i need 1.25 kilonewton per meter squared now i've given the value for the load now the next thing is to give the dimension for where the area load should be okay so you can either define the load here or you can even define it with your mouse okay so instead of defining it here let me just define it with my mouse so i will pick the start point as here okay i'll pick the start point and then i can draw it this is um what i'm trying to do then i'll you know just click it this end okay so the load has been applied but if you don't want to apply it throughout all of the whole area let's say i just want to apply it in small area something like this okay you see it is just applied in that small area so you can see that i did not define the value for the load i just defined it with my mouse okay now before i move forward you can see what i had is just dead load let's say you want to add dead load you also want to add live load okay so let me just um go to the property of this load all you just need to do is um this is dead load just click on this arrow that is up click on it then you can see another load case has popped up which is what live load then let me add another live load let me say the live load is 2.5 okay and then i will say update okay so now you see that two load cases has been added the dead load and the live load okay now if you check this in 3d view let's see it in 3d view when you apply this kind of load you see it will be visible for you to see unlike the other one it will be applied but it will not be visible for you to see but that is not a big deal all you just need to do is achieve the goal okay all right i would like to end the video here if you've watched the video from the beginning then you'll have learned the two methods on how you can apply and define your um area load in product structure and how you can apply it to your slab in the next video i will proceed to show you how you can apply a line load to your slab so if you like this video if it is useful for you make sure you give it a thumbs up and then if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel you can as well turn on the notification button so that you can receive notifications as soon as i post my video also you can do me a help by sharing my youtube link to your friends and colleagues thanks for watching